Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Enki. This is our weekly rundown of updates, events and beautiful stuff happening within the Blender community, Blender Foundation and also Blender as an app. And this week we have a couple of news that you guys will probably want to get an idea about. So if you go over to the download section and go over to experimental, click right there, you would notice that Blender 2.92.0 candidate is now officially here this is gearing up to the final release of blender 2.92 which will be happening sometime next week speaking about that if you also go ahead and download this new version of blender 2.93 and fire this up you would notice that everything looks the same nothing really looks different except for this section now if you look at the ui right here you would notice that there is a little update going on there and that is because this feature which is the feature that actually allows you to turn on or turn off things that should be visible within your render time is now finally back here now this was there before but previously it was taken out temporarily so you can actually go in and turn that back on now for those asking what does this actually do now this controls what is visible within your final render and what is not visible so for example if we simply select the camera press zero on the keyboard and switch over to this point if we go over to render and hit the render image you would notice that we have the render right here now if we also go back and turn this off and actually hit the render one more time you would notice that we don't see this now in previous versions so if we actually jump over to blender 2.91 and pop this open you would also notice that we don't get to see this now for those who are wondering how do you get to see this you know you want to be able to control this by yourself of course you can because that's just something that was temporarily removed so if you want to be able to make that active you need to click right here and click on this button this one actually to turn this back on so that way you'll be able to take advantage of this beautiful feature now this feature is also something that you would notice within your modifiers so for example if we go in and put our favorite modifier which is a subdivision modifier and go all the way to a subdivision you would notice that we have that right there so if we actually jump back over to the camera and if we turn this off and do that rendering you would notice that we have that and if i actually turn this back on and hit this rendering you would notice you know that we have this right now and speaking about updates there are updates that are currently available for the grease pencil so last week we talked about some of the cool stuff that you guys should be playing with but right now if we simply go over to the 2d animation section and we choose to do something like so and let's say we kind of lock this and switch over to where we have our fill click right here and go over to the solid and actually click you would notice that it fills this but then we don't really get to see the fill all the way to that top so what happens now is you can actually increase the precision and when you click and add that fill automatically it's going to fill the entire thing now something else which is also a very cool feature with the grease pencil is for example if we go in and we do something like so so in most cases you might probably have noticed this with other 2d apps as well when you don't close your entire stroke you probably will not be able to fill this now this is also something that's similar with what you have in grease pencil so for example if we have this and we actually go in and do that you notice it kind of floods the entire thing but right now there is a very cool update to this and that simply means that if i click right here within the advanced you need to make sure that you have the field selected click right here within the advanced you would notice that we have something called the stroke extension so i can drag this all the way up and right now if i click you will notice that we have two different sort of crossing lines so these are more like temporary lines or ghost lines depending on what you call them and what this does is it simply cuts across so that you'll be able to do a proper filling now you might be wondering how do you control this because it looks too long you need to use your middle mouse button and scroll either up or scroll down for you to be able to actually adjust this so once you're done adjusting this the way you want them to be you can now go ahead and fill now once you're done filling of course you can actually go in and start doing some cool stuff but i did notice something now what i noticed is with the new version i guess this is a bug so you know just in case the folks at blender foundation are listening what i notice is this that once you're done filling this and you start drawing you notice that the pen just starts drawing from a different point so let's actually switch this back to the stroke and start drawing you notice that the pen starts drawing from a different point and i tried this severally i was thinking maybe you know it's just something that i sort of mistakenly did restarted the whole thing redownloaded new blender and this is a, a very tiny bug so just in case you're working with this and you notice something like that that is the problem you know with the tool itself and not your problem uh you know as much as i can think of 
So with that said, let's talk about a cool note that is now available in Blender 2.93. So if you actually have this and you go over, so we'll probably talk about this one sometime next week. So if we go over here and click right through to add, you know, the geometry node thingy, and we choose to look for separate. So right now there is an attribute separate for X, Y, and Z. And you can also play with a combine. So for those who like to combine or simply separate different uh, attributes, or probably you want to separate things based on a given direction, axis or vector, you can now easily use this to actually achieve something like that. Now, last week we talked about the join node, looking at the fact that the join node looks even way better than it you know it usually looks and we talked about the idea of this join node and it's very cool to see that you know the the geometry node is growing so it's growing from what we actually saw before earlier what we used to use was just simply using the boolean node to join things together and it moved on to us having a single join node and now we have a join node that you can literally join anything. Now, speaking about the geometry node, you might also want to take a look at how the folks at the Blender Studio are working with the geometry node to create things like leaves, moss, and all that stuff. There's a very tiny tutorial within the blog post which you can actually read and get informed with things like this. So right here, we get to see as Simon has actually gone through to talk about how the geometry node has been used and why the geometry node is very useful for the Sprite Fight movie that they are currently working on. And with that said, Python 3.9 support has finally landed for Blender 2.93 as this is what would be used from now on. And this simply means that the end of Blender support for Windows 7 and also Windows 8 has actually come to an end. And the minimum requirement for you to actually use Blender right now if you're running Windows is Windows 8.1. So if you go over to the Blender's developers blog, you would notice that there is a very cool blog that is available right now. So there is a model team for core Blender development and this is because they are trying to actually restructure how certain things gets to work. Right now, we will be having some modules. So just in case you want to know more about this, I'm gonna put a link in the description so that you can take a look at this. Now, this has to do with the rendering module, which would comprise of both EV, Cycle, and also the Workbench rendering project in Blender and looking at how they can actually work and also grow this. Meanwhile, there is also going to be a new module which will be known as the core module and the members within this would actually get and protect the core of Blender software design. And this is not the only blog that you would have to read about this because right over here, we also have a couple more things that you might want to actually, you know, take a look at. And that is with the render module update. So this one is actually written by Birch and he is now moving away from being the chief software architect for Blender to the principal engineer. And he also said within this blog, I'll continue to be available for advice on software design and any part of Blender but I will no longer be as much involved in organizing, reviewing, or signing off on development projects outside of rendering. So right here, there's also a conversation about the brand new rendering section, which has been put together. And for those who would also want to read more, more, more about this, you need to go over to the module section and read more about this. So there is a couple of things that are here, which consist of animation, rigging, core, pipeline asset platform, Python and add-ons, EV and the viewport, rendering and cycles, sculpting, painting and texture, and so on and so forth. So with all of this beautiful thing said, let's take a look at something else. So within the week, we did talk about something that has to do with the screen space global illumination. So we talked about this beautiful add-on and yes, I know a lot of you guys have been asking, what is the big difference between this and the previous one? And I would show you. So let's say we have a simple plane like so, and we stretch this all the way out and jump over to this section. And you know, we have this set to EV. Right here, if you download that one, which I'm also gonna talk about, you would notice that we have the screen space ray tracing. So with the screen space ray tracing right here, we can actually have global illumination happening directly in EV. This is totally different from what you would get if you're working with the default blender. Here we have only screen space reflections, contrary to what we have in the previous one, which is known as the screen space ray tracing. So with this, you can actually get some very cool GI. And we did do a bit of an extensive video about how this actually works. So for those who like to leverage off this, you know, you want to get quick and real-time GI directly in EV, you can actually leverage off this 
and I'm also going to put a link to this in the description. So the folks at 0451 have actually made this one possible. And right now, this is no longer as an add-on as there is a full build of this for Blender. And this full build is for Blender 2.93 and it is a recent build for this week. So just in case you're feeling excited about it, you want to leverage of this, link to that is going to be in the description so you can grab it. Why we're talking about things that you can leverage off, if you also go over to the folks at Blender Defender, they have this beautiful free add-on. So the previous add-on which we talked about is for free and this is also for free. So what this does is this is a project manager that can help you streamline how you work with Blender. So in most cases, you either forget to save your file, you save your file in wrong places, you save your file with different names, or maybe you just totally forget to continue working on a certain project. The Blender project manager actually comes in very handy to help you stay organized and also help you stay focused. So these guys are actually doing something very cool for the community. And of course, I would like you guys to also take a look at this and see how you can benefit from it. Now, if you would like to grab this, you can actually get this for free. And if you also go over to GitHub, you would be able to grab this one as well and while we're speaking about things that you can grab sometime last two weeks we talked about key mesh so one update has actually happened with key mesh and it is the fact that the repository where you get to download key mesh has now been changed so right now if you want to grab key mesh i've actually gone over to the videos and made changes to that so if you go over to those videos you would also see the changes and right now if you go over to this link in the description it will take you over to pablo's page where the key mesh currently resides so updates and future things will be happening from here and for those who like to actually get key mesh you want to try you want to play with it you want to see more videos about key mesh and things that we talked about and how you can work with it the link to that is also going to be in the description so that you guys can take a look at this and that looks like that's it but that's not it because we have a couple more news for you guys that has to do with the community so the folks at blender market are currently looking for someone that can develop a website by simply using ruby on rails so if you're a web developer and you have an idea of Git, ruby on rails javascript and jquery then you might simply want to apply for this one the post is 100 percent remote so you don't necessarily need to be anywhere to actually work you can work from the comfort of your home and your starting pay is 60k per year and uh, you know that looks good with a macbook pro and uh, i think there's nothing more that looks better than that you know, you're chilling in your house, you're working, you're making money, and you have a free laptop for yourself. And while we're speaking about the folks at Blender Market, a few days ago, we talked about the Fracture Mode. Now, this is made by Alberto FX, and it is a tool set that can help you fracture things easily in Blender. We covered a full video about this and how you can fracture things, how you can drive rigid body, and also how you can leverage of this and do some very cool stuff. Right now, this is just set to $5, and guess what? It is still at 50% off. You can simply go ahead and grab it. And by the way, this is not the only thing that you have for 50% off. Alberto is actually putting everything that he has on his page for 50% off. So for those who like to grab these things and play with it, you can actually go ahead and do that. And while we're speaking about things that you can grab the folks at blender now currently known as b production have released the transportation 2.2 now this comes with a couple more assets that you can work with and right now they're making an announcement for the first 20 customers to be getting 10 percent of this and by the way if you've already purchased this you can simply go over to the other section of your blender market page and re-download so that you'll be able to grab the updates for this one now there's a couple of artworks that this has been used for and it just simply looks perfectly stunning so this is more like it these are the updates that are available from the folks at blender foundation and also within the community for this week so just in case you're excited about any of this link to them is going to be in the description and also link to a couple of add-ons free ones and also paid ones that you guys can benefit from would also be in the description so do well to check these things out tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace